Well, that is a neck in the tempered glass. I don't think that's going away. Welcome back to the north. In today's video, I was going to be working with the green screen, but I didn't have adequate lighting because this shadow in the background, you're not supposed to have that when you're doing green screening. So even though I had this going and that, and these light, two lights going at the same time, it was not enough. So I'm going to have to work on lighting. I spent a lot of time just messing around with lighting. Anywho, I have contingencies, so let's go on to the next project and start doing that. Before creativity was a mode on Minecraft, believe it or not, people used to make arts and crafts outside of the internet and TikToks and all of that. Most of the time when I hear people talk about arts and crafts, it's like, oh yeah, did you see that on TikTok? Well, this is not on TikTok. I didn't see it, so I thought, okay, I better make it. I did maybe put that on a short. <laughs> so this is what we're here today doing. I am making a, a short, but also just gonna be making a full arts and crafts DIY here. And I also want to talk about while being creative, because it feels like not enough people are doing it these days. <laughs> being creative. Okay, well, what what am I doing here? I got a bunch of Rubik's Cubes. Well, the thing I'm doing here is I'm going to make a, like a picture frame. I've seen this on Instagram on a, a really large scale of people making photos with Rubik's Cubes and to be honest, you don't really need that many Rubik's Cubes. Just nine of them to make, like, like, yeah, that would be great. So I'm going to make a picture frame to fit, house these, and mess around. Maybe, oh, yeah, you can make that pixel art for sure with that. I'm pretty sure. That seems like enough pixels if, uh, you know what I mean? Okay, let's just start making stuff. <laughs> So in today's Arts and Crafts with NWT Kit, I am working with these things. Remember those? They are pretty inexpensive still to this day, and I thought, okay, well this seems like a decent thing to make a picture frame out of. It actually shows a picture frame on the... The packaging even shows a picture frame, and I thought, okay, I can make something with this. This is what we're going to be housing. All together I spent about $50 for the Rubik's Cubes, so it's pretty affordable. And I, like I said, I think I can make a picture out of this, but before we even do that, let's try to make a picture frame for it, and then it will hang on the wall or something. Okay, I finally got all of these the same length. That took a while, uh, but hey, they're all the same length, so now I can start gluing things. Uh, okay, now I'm ready to start gluing things together. And then we'll figure out how to make, a, make it stay as a box. My urge to be perfect is going off the charts right now, but I didn't make these cuts perfect, so I'm just gonna have to Except this is not gonna be perfect and I'm okay with that At least I have to keep on telling myself that you just you just want it to hold some Rubik's cubes That's all it's got to do, right? People are gonna come over and be like, oh, you make that when you're a kid. No Like I know it's easy to say like I'll do it later like I'll be creative later the funny thing about later is sometimes later doesn't happen unless you make time for it. And oddly, you have to make later now a lot of times. And that's a hard thing. At least it is for me. Because sometimes it's just like, well, I, I'm 
that's, that's supposed to do that later. But then you have to just switch off in your mind and be like, okay, well, it's now later. Let's get this done. And I find that being creative gets pushed back to later way too often. And not just for with me, it's with everybody. And I, I, I love seeing all my friends and stuff show me creative things from time to time. And lately, it just feels like I don't see people being cool with arts and crafts and stuff. But if you want to be cool, do some arts and crafts like me. Okay, so now I've made four plates. That should be enough to... It doesn't really matter. Oh, it kind of does. I want these. Okay, so... Okay, well, we're getting there. Okay, well, it's doing what it's supposed to do, but it still feels rickety. Okay, well, I was able to make it. It's there. Well, I think I'm done. It took me about an hour to do this because I had to cut all of the popsicle sticks and that took a lot longer than I thought. And the gluing was a while as well as putting the string on for the back of this. I'm pretty happy with it here. So let's see if I can make some art with it. Aha! I made a tea. It's hard to make art on demand, okay? I, I like the idea that I have this set up and I like to tinker with it and maybe make, a, make an image uh, out of all of the Rubik's cubes, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, this is just more of like a, a uh, concept, I thought. I, I wanted to see if this was out there on the internet, and I did not see a single photo of a 9x9 Rubik's Cube photo, and I thought, okay, well, somebody has to do it, so I guess that's me. And here it is. Okay, well, I hope this has helped you and encouraged you to be a little bit more creative, because I just adore when people show me stuff like this and they're like you made that that's that's the coolest thing so I, I hope at some degree you have that urge now a little bit too if not that's cool you can always just watch some more videos like this one right up here or follow me on all of these and i think that's going to be a video so we'll see you in the next one see you next week <laughs> see if i can make a, uh, a short out of this now Okay.